Lesson 216 A birthday dress It was Ellen's twelfth birthday. Ellen was twelve years old. Her mom took her shopping. They went shopping at the mall. You can pick out a dress. You can pick out a pretty dress, mom said. I will pick out a pretty, blue dress, Ellen said. They went into J.C. Penney. J.C. Penney sells lots of dresses. Ellen saw a blue dress that she liked. I like that dress, mom, she said. She took the dress into the dressing room. She put on the dress. It fit her well. She walked out of the dressing room. The dress fits you well, said mom. Can I have it? Ellen asked. Of course, you can have it, dear. It's your birthday present, said mom. But it's not on sale, said Ellen. We always buy everything on sale. It's your birthday, dear. On your birthday, we can pay full price, said mom. Lesson 217 Don't do this, mommy says. Don't wipe your nose on your sleeve. Don't pick your nose. Don't interrupt me. Don't talk with food in your mouth. Don't go swimming right after eating. Don't forget to feed the dog. Don't forget to take the dog for a walk. Don't hit your sister. Don't make your brother cry. Don't chew with your mouth open. Don't make fun of other people. Don't slam the door. Don't play in the street. Don't be late. Don't bother me now. Don't shout. Don't yell. Don't scream. Don't litter. Don't be rude. Don't drop out of school. Don't talk while you eat. Don't make a mess. Don't talk so loud. Don't fight with your brother. Don't worry. Don't give up. Don't eat that. Don't talk to strangers. Don't play with matches. Don't play with fire. Lesson 218 The Moon and the Sun How far away is the moon? Chris asked his dad. His dad said that was a good question. He said the moon was not as far away as the sun. How far away is the sun? Chris asked. His dad said that was a good question. He said the sun was farther away than the moon. Did you have to learn this in school? Chris asked. Dad said, yes, I had to learn this in school. Chris asked, but you forgot it? Dad said, yes, I forgot it. Chris asked, why did you forget it? Dad said, I forgot it because it isn't important. Chris asked, if it isn't important, why are we learning it? His dad said that was a good question. He said, you're learning it because your teacher thinks it's important. Chris asked, can't you call my teacher? Can't you tell her that isn't important? Lesson 219 He hates carrots. Eat your vegetables, Mikey, mom said. I am eating my vegetables, Mikey said. He was eating the sliced carrots. He was eating the sliced carrots one by one. He was eating them one at a time. He picked up one sliced carrot with his fork. He looked at it. He slowly put it in his mouth. He slowly chewed it. Finally, he swallowed it. Then he drank some water. Then he picked up another sliced carrot with his fork. Mom watched him. Why do you hate vegetables, Mikey? He said, I don't hate vegetables. I hate carrots. Why do you hate carrots? Mom asked. Because they don't taste good, Mikey said. But they are good for you, Mom said. They are good for your eyes. They help you to see well. Don't you want to see well? 
Not if I have to see carrots, Mikey said. Lesson 220 Today's Mail The mailman put the mail in the mailbox. Dad went outside. He said hello to the mailman. The mailman said hello. Dad opened the mailbox and took out a magazine and two letters. One letter was from his sister. The other letter was from his brother. The magazine was for his wife. It was a garden magazine. His wife liked to work in the garden. She grew flowers and vegetables in the garden. Dad went back into the house. He opened both letters. His sister invited him to a birthday party. His brother invited him to a wedding. Dad enjoyed reading the letters. He enjoyed getting the invitations. He picked up the phone. He left a message for his sister. He would come to the birthday party. He also called his brother. He said he would come to the wedding.